Morning chaps, welcome along. Not a bright and early Monday, I had a terrible night's sleep because the hay fever has absolutely kicked in for me now. Yes, even though I've been taking honey every day, that grass pollen just does seem to bite, but I didn't get affected with any tree pollen or anything, so there is that bonus, I think. So this morning I've got the lid from the HLT that last week I set down with Gorilla Glue, piled a load of casks of beer on top of it to set. So I'm just going to belt it with the sander to get any footprints and stuff off the timber because it was stood on uh, whilst it was being cut or before it was being cut. And then we're going to whack some varnish onto it and see if it goes on the HLT nicely. I know the lid was a funny cut, it's the only one that doesn't fit properly so hopefully it'll be alright. And then Gem's here, bless her. She's just ordered some steel for me from ASC Metals in Lincoln. So hopefully the box section will be picked up today, Stuart's going to run across and fetch it and that means we can cut the tie downs for the lids at last. So we're going to get that done. Looking forward to it. <laughs> Right, I've got the old stress head on this morning, so what we're going to do, Stuart's going to shoot across to Lincoln to ASC Metals. I'm jumping in the car, going across to Tool Station to pick up some stainless threaded bar and some stainless wing nuts. And Gemma's stopping here to speak to GC Supplies and order some bits. And if they come before Wednesday, when probably the elements will turn up, we're going to be running. We'll be up and running. I'll just have a few fittings to weld when they do arrive. But we will be able to do a test brew, or at least a caustic brew, which is uh, one step closer. So, I'm going to shoot off. I'll bring you with. I know you love a shot of Tool Station's entrance and all that. Um, and yeah, Gem, <laughs> she's laughing her head off. Uh, if you can just stick a bit of varnish on those two lids for me, that'll be dry by tomorrow. Uh, and then we're, then we're uh, ready to go, I reckon. Right, Tool Station. There's the obligatory Tool Station shot. Yes, I know you're all suckers for it. And I got a cheeky piri piri chicken wrap on the way. Mmm. That's my breakfast. Don't tell Gemma though, I didn't get her anything. Right, well, back in the shop, I've managed to pick up some M10 threaded rod and some stainless Ving nuts. And this is the size that we're going to require to bolt straight through the box section into the top of the tanks. So I've done a little test. What I'm going to do is cut off enough of these pieces of threaded rod and then on one end I'm just going to stick a little bit of a flat bar on the top like I did on the yeah like I did on this uh, TIG torch holder. Just a little bit of flat bar there so I can wind and unwind the threaded bar without any requirements of a spanner and then obviously we're going to have wing nuts in there as well so that will allow me to remove and uh, affix the lids without the need for any other tools. <laughs> Good 
Good man. Right, Stu's just unloading some stuff off the van. He brought me the steel. Check this out. I got the three mil thick box. That, I believe, is going to be more than enough in terms of how thick and strong it is to clamp these bleeding lids down. And while I'm at it, I'm also putting together some extra fittings here to connect up the uh, the work pump. So that's the outlet, that's the inlet, three quarter inch inlet, half inch outlet for now. And then once we get established and figure out where all the pipes want to be and all that kind of stuff, then we'll get rid of this. We'll swap it out for a liner and nut and put solid one and a half inch pipe work in its place. Proper stuff. <laughs> I damn near give myself vibration white finger, god damn it. So uh, I made this square for the top of the fermenter and I drilled two holes here or in each corner and then widened it with the Dremel and ooh, the vibrations have killed me just about. So I'm going to take this across to the top of the tank, we'll sit it on and we'll see if we can't screw these bolts in and get some compression on that lid. Okay, so here we are. I've engraved the front of this so we know which one, which is the front edge. There we go, FV2 top. So the trick is now, we've got some nice big slots for these bolts to go in. Plenty of room for them to maneuver around. And a nice thick washer on there. Where's that washer? Here we are. Let's try this one. This is one of the problem ones. That's lovely. And then back here. Oh, that works a damn treat, that does. And then this one was the worst out of all four. Because the nut is at a slight angle. It's not perpendicular with the top. Oh my god. Well that's tight. Oh, here we go. And we don't even have to take this off for dry hopping. We can just drop all the dry hops through the centre. Obviously we'll have the, um, the spray ball in there and then a blank for most of the other time. Well, I never. I think what we're going to have to do is put some water in here and give her a little bit of a test of rosser. Right, so we've put the RJT gasket on, seal, then the spray ball. And the RJT nut, and then the pipe, and then secure it with the circlips. Well, there we are. If we look all the way around the rim, and we can see there is not a leak in sight, there's not a leak in sight. That is a firmly held down lid. And the, uh, well, we know how wide and dispersed the spray ball pattern is. It really will be hitting every single corner inside here. I think we've freaking cracked it, man. What a genius idea that was. Get in. Well, that worked so well. I'm now in the process of putting together the second one. As you can see, Lovely looking welds on the corners. I'm really impressed on how these welds are coming out now. I've really come a long, long way. But enough about me. Let's talk about the pub. 
I'm going up there for a pint. It is half past six, after all. But the reason I'm going up there for a pint is I've just had a phone call from the North Nottinghamshire camera chairman to ask when we would like the presentation for 2018 Pub of the Season Spring. Because we won it! Another freaking award. We've been open since August and this is the third award that the pub has taken. Yes. I'll tell you what, it's excellent news. So I'm going to go and share our good fortune with Stuart and whoever is in the boozer and I'm having a pint. Cracking, cracking note to end the day on. Cracking note to end the day on. We'll see you tomorrow. Decided to work late tonight, lads. Cheers. In the midnight sky, caught in this storm. In the midnight sky.